Well, hello and welcome to tutorial 37 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language Programming. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com, markplex.com, and join our email list. Then we'll let you know when we create new tutorials or programs. Um, today's tutorial is going to be continuing where tutorial 26 left off and if you've not seen the two videos in tutorial 26 then I suggest you might want to have a look at those before uh, looking at this tutorial although uh, I think this has value by itself so um, tutorial 26 was all about finding divergences between a price and stochastic and you can see here some examples of, of how it worked we had two price pivots and uh, in this case, the, um, the earlier price pivot was lower and the, the newer one was higher, although they could be equal. While at the same time, the pivots in the stochastic, the uh, early one was higher and the newer one was lower. So that one's going up, this one's going down, therefore we have a divergence. And uh, you'll see here that we plotted a line to indicate the divergence. And again, you can see another one here. Now, one of the, the key things that we did in uh, Tutorial 26, and if we just uh, look at the program briefly, it was to make sure that even though the pivots may not actually occur on the same bar, we added this uh, capability here to make sure that the number of bars between the price and the, um, or rather be between the um, stochastic pivot and the price pivot, there was less than a certain number of bars and we call that bar toll and that was uh, set up as an um, input. Now um, let's just go back to the chart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the tutorial 26. I'm just going to change the status of that to off and I'm going to change the status of tutorial 37 to on. Now in this tutorial this this actual program is a show me study so instead of uh, seeing the stochastic we are seeing some uh, dots plotted at th what the program sees as being the um, divergences and we probably just want to look at the program and explain some of the differences that that I made there to create the program the show me study for this program so what I actually did was I went to tutorial 26 I copied it and then I, I went and did file new window whoops file new window what am I doing file new window and started a easy language show me study I said okay there and then I simply copied the indicator code into the show me study but to make it work properly we had to make we have to make a few changes and I'll just explain uh, what they were most of this is the same but some of it slight, subtly different one of the things is I've introduced is this uh, show lines input and uh, what this does if it's set to true we get the lines drawn on the chart if it's set to false we do not and I'll show you that working in a moment all this lot is the same. These are the uh, the trade station pivot functions, looking for pivots in price, and also in the stochastic, looking for high and low pivots. Um, another thing I added here is, and and we use this in plotting just to make sure that the uh, the dot is plotted a fraction of the screen away from the price, and we do that by using get up info. And get up info AI highest disp value shows the highest value that's currently displayed on your chart. And get up info AI lowest disp value shows the lowest. And if you take those, you get a range that's shown on the chart. And we use that in a moment. So the actual function for showing that we have a divergence is the same. Uh, you can look back to tutorial 26 for a very detailed explanation of how that works. But then rather than just drawing the lines, what I've now introduced is this thing that says if show lines, and uh, that's really saying if show lines equals true, then draw the lines. If it's false, then it will not do these things. And uh, if, as you know, the TL new function, or you may not know, but the TL new function, that will draw a line on the chart 
TL set color will change the color of that and TL set size will set the size. So um, whether that is plotted or not will depend on show lines but what we do want to do is we want to plot a dot and um, this is a, a standard plot statement but there's a few things here that I should explain. Firstly within the square brackets this is telling the, uh, the plot how many bars ago to do the dot. Now remember with uh, a pivot we have to have a certain number of bars to the right before we know it's a pivot. Now the minimum of those is one obviously but it could be more so what we need to do is plot the line historically oh pivot bar three number of bars ago and then we need to tell it where we're plotting the line and what I've done here is plotted it at the low of O pivot bar 3 which is when the pivot the end point of the pivot occurred and then what I've done is just subtracted value 1 now you remember value 1 we calculated just up here and that is the range of values that appear on the chart on your screen and I've just divided that by 20 I've given it a name plus div and I've colored it green and then what we've said is um, that's all very good if this is true but if it ceases to be true then we, we do a no plot so that you will see as a chart is forming the dots will come on and off and on and off until they're confirmed by a bar and we move on to the next bar and then for the high pivot it's almost uh, well it's very similar but um, the conditions change here of course because we're looking for high pivots and again we've got the show lines and then uh, another plot statement plotting O pivot bar 5 bars ago and at a value of H O pivot bar 5 but in this case instead of subtracting we're we're adding value 1 divided by 20. So the main differences really are just the fact that we're adding these plot functions here we got rid of the uh, the stochastic plot that was uh, in the indicator and we've also added this functionality so that you can show the lines or not show the lines uh, as you wish. If you want to reduce the clutter in your screen then it's probably better not to show that use the show lines and I'll just demonstrate that so you can see here at the moment we are not showing the lines if I go to format analysis techniques and I'm just going to change that to true and uh, say OK and then you'll see the lines now being drawn. Um, if you wanted to see the stochastic as well you can insert the indicator and make sure the settings are the same. So um, if you uh, would like to download this program you can do so for a small fee. What I've also done is bundle this one and Tutorial 26 so you can download both uh, for a small fee as well. So anyway uh, I hope that was useful. Thank you very much.